name is Mrs. Hilary Pong. And I've come here especially to ask you this question, which has been playing on my mind from the time I was a kid. Yes, Sister Hilary, you're most welcome to ask the question. Hilary, who climbed Mount Everest? That's Hilary. Yes, Sister, most welcome to ask the question. Adam and Eve had two sons, right? Yes. Cain killed Abel. Fine. And how is this big world come around? Can you explain this to me? I have asked priests, I have asked bishops, I have asked everyone in this world that I have come around. I have been to Australia, Taiwan, Singapore, all over, but nobody can give me this explanation. So kindly, I request you, um, Mr. Zakir Nayak, I have been longing to meet you, to ask you, not only this question, but many other questions, if I get a chance. I hope you understand Urdu, Hindi. Because Very this is... Very backward in Urdu and Hindi. If you can explain into Sister... English and then translate it in your Urdu, I don't mind. Okay, sister. First, I'll give the answer. Because you're a non-Muslim, I'll give you an exception. Normally, when I speak in English, I only answer in English. If I speak in Urdu, I only answer in Urdu. I'm more comfortable with English. So I'll give you an opportunity, sister. The sisters asked a question that Adam had two sons, Cain and Abel. In Islam also, in the Quran, Habil or Kabil. So, how did the human race come into existence? She's trying to say indirectly that when the two sons were there, and from them, how more children were born? Does it mean that they did incest? Incest means having sexual relationship with the close relatives. That's the question. Correct, sister? No, no, no. They may be having with animals for all you know. Some people do look like animals, like apes and baboons. So maybe they do, did have relationship with them. So what's the question then? Your My question. question is, how did this world come? I want to know the truth. How did the world come to know the truth of what? I want to know how did this such a big world come around? How did when they come? That's what I'm telling you. How did it come into existence? Uh -huh. so that's what I'm telling you. Yeah. How did the world come into existence? According to the Quran, according to the Bible, the first pair of human beings were Adam and Eve. Peace be upon them both. Both of them were the first human beings. And Allah says in the Quran, and I quoted that in my talk, in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 1, Ya ayyuhan na suttaku rabbakum Allah zi khalakum min nafsi wahida wa khalaka minha zawjaha O oh, humankind, reverence your guardian Lord who has created you from a single person and created like nature is made and from it twins, multiple women and men. That means all of us sisters are children of Adam and Eve. How are we children? Because they had children and from them there were many children. What people object to is that how come the children of Adam, peace be upon him and Eve, peace be upon her, how did the children have sex among themselves and how did the human race continue? The point to be noted, sister, is that the major concept of Islam about oneness of God, not to do idol worship, is the same from Adam alayhi salam till Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, sallallahu alayhi wasallam. But the minor points kept on changing. At that time, at the time of Adam, peace be upon him, the law was that the brothers and sisters born in the same delivery, they should not marry one another. The brothers and sisters born in the same delivery should not marry one another. So amongst the sisters and brothers who have not born in the same delivery, they married each other and they had children. Later on, when the human race kept on expanding, then the law came that the brothers and sisters should not have sexual relationship. That's what the Quran says in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 22, 23, 24, that you cannot marry your mother, your sister, your daughter and your mother's sisters, your brother's daughter, your sister's daughter, and a big list of manam is given. So sister, previously the rule was that marrying amongst the same delivery was prohibited, marrying from different delivery was permitted because there was only one pair of humankind. That's how the human race kept on expanding, and today all the human beings, more than six billion of us sister, we have got the same common great, great, great grandparent that is Adam and Eve, peace be upon them. Hope that answers the question, sister. 
Sister Hope, that answers the question. There was no animal involved in between. If you have sex with the animal, a human being is not born. I'm a medical doctor. <laughs> Having sex with the animal is called bestiality. I'm a medical doctor. If you have sex with the animal, a human being is not born. So this human race came. Our great-grandparent was one comment that is Adam and Eve, peace be upon them. Hope that answers the question.